Am I the asshole? For telling my sil the party she threw was absolutely a birthday party. My sil, Lucy became a Jehovah's Witness a couple of years ago. It caused a bit of a problem in her marriage as my brother, Todd, didn't want to convert and the church at least the one she attends encourages you to cut out those who will not follow the teachings. I'm not sure exactly what happened but Todd and Lucy have remained married. He hasn't joined the church, she attends and said they'd raise their future children doing so. Our family has been supportive, once we got over the hurdle of her trying to convert us. It has been a little tricky as Lucy doesn't celebrate holidays and will scoff invited. So, Todd will go by himself and she resents not being invited. We've let it know, if she wants to come, then she's more than welcome, but we're not going to just not have celebrations. Lucy has also told us since she joined the church to not get her gifts and she won't get us any. We were okay with that. Last year, Lucy and Todd welcomed their son, Andrew. His first birthday was on Saturday. I wasn't expecting a party but then Lucy said they were having an I love you party for him. It seemed like a cop out but my husband and I agreed to bring our daughter to the party. Again, Lucy has stated several times that she and Andrew cannot give or receive gifts on holidays and birthdays. She even said no birthday gifts. So, I didn't get him anything, though I helped my daughter make a card that just said we love you, Andrew. The party was mostly Lucy's church friends. She doesn't have a large extended family, myself and Todd's lives in a different state. When we arrived, the table was stacked with presents. We were the only ones who didn't get him something. I heard someone from the church calling it an I love you gift but didn't want to make a thing of it. Monday, Lucy called and the subject of the party came up. I was trying to understand the difference between a birthday and what the party was. She just kept saying it was different and they weren't technically celebrating his birthday. I said it was semantics really. It'd be one thing if they celebrated it on a random day but it was on his birthday. She accused me of judging her religion and I said no, I just think that this is a cop out. It's totally fine to celebrate your child. I love my nephew and will do my best to be at every party. But that 100 was a birthday party. She can dress it up as she wants, but that's what it is. Lucy said I was a judgmental bitch and hung up. Todd is actually on my side but feels I shouldn't have said it. He wanted to and kept quiet to keep peace. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole, but be careful. High control religions often manufacture opportunities for families to fight and for their members to become separated from their families. Don't do their work for them. Sometimes it's best to make a statement about reality and just leave it there. This feels like bizarro world to me. I grew up with friends who were JW and their family was very strict and adamant about holidays and birthdays. What your sill had was a B-Day party, no way around it. Very confusing. But you're not the asshole. Not the asshole lol totally was a birthday party. If it was just some random I love you party why was it on his birthday? We have lots of JWs in my area, and some Marco workers. None of them have these types of parties. I wonder if your Sills church is mostly converted people? Not the asshole. That was a birthday party. Not the asshole. And I am shocked her church friends attended and bought gifts. I grew up going to school with a JW family and then had a friend in college that was JW and they don't really allow for any loopholes. I once offered my friend a candy cane at Christmas and she refused it so I broke off the cane part and said peppermint stick. And she was very clear that that's not how it works. Your Sills I love you party was basically my peppermint stick. As I understand it their children will be brought up in the cult. I really don't understand how the husband can let this happen. Natar and not your responsibility to know what subtle hypocritical religious line to walk when dealing with her. Definitely not. I would have called out the birthday party just like you did. Not the asshole it seems like she was trying to wiggle around some religious custom of hers. That was definitely a birthday party even if she said no gifts. 
not the asshole as a former JW, the party your sill had is a birthday party with a different name. Had something like that happened in any of the congregations I was in or my family is still in, it would have led to a severe reprimand disfellowshipping temporary excommunication shunning. Sorry your sill joined a high control cult. Not the asshole. I always thought this sort of thing was one of the more incomprehensible bits of religious craziness, similar to the convoluted stuff some Orthodox Jews do so they can live normally while technically not doing any work on the Sabbath. Like do you think you're tricking God? Surely if he existed, he would not be so easily fooled, and probably quite angry at you for trying. Not the asshole. You were at a birthday party. Not the asshole I wouldn't be able to tolerate that kind of silliness. Not the asshole. She's made things awkward by refusing invitations and making a big deal about parties, but then had one of her own. Also, she's made you feel bad by being confusing over the gift situation. I'm sure you would have liked to bring one. If someone put me in a spot like that I'd have words, certainly. She can dress up her party however she wants, but causing awkwardness in the family isn't acceptable, whatever her religion. Info. Who mentioned the party first during the phone call? Edited because of autocorrect. Lamauso I spent 16 years of my childhood as a JW and if anyone from the congregation heard that a sister was throwing her son a I love you party with presents, on his date of birth, your sister would have definitely gotten the talk from elders I put the words titles they use in quotations bc I still find it ick. Alas, as with many people following religions, they like to pick and choose what parts to follow, but god forbid you call them out on it. Not the asshole toe. Info. Are you sure she is a witness and not him some other kind of cult? JW don't have parties on their birthdays. Something strange is going on here. Not the asshole. But I feel terrible for Andrew. He'll probably grow up feeling guilty for his birthday, and receiving any birthday gifts. Not the asshole. I would have called the hypocrisy out too. Not the asshole my cousin and her nine kids recently left this religion after divorcing her abusive husband who brought her into it in the first place. The kids between ages 2-16 have been experiencing holidays and celebrations for the first time this past year. The amount of giddy joy they've expressed from those experiences is heartwarming but also depressing all things considered with their past. Not the asshole. This is such a weird situation lol. Your sill made the choice to become a JW as an adult. She's clearly beyond the reach of reason. Honestly, I'd go low contact because I have very low tolerance for bullshit. Not the asshole, obviously. One Jehovah's Witnesses suck. Two this was absolutely a birthday party. But. I don't really get why you had to get into an argument with her about it. The important thing is your nephew still got to have a birthday party. Who cares what word was used to describe it? The only thing you'll need to win an unnecessary argument is likely to have accomplished is diminishing the likelihood he'll have future parties.